it is about 20 to 8 and I'm just leaving Waitrose. I've been in work all day long and now all I want to do is just have a bath. It's just been a busy day. So I'm going to get home. I've got ice cream in there. So can't talk for long. And Charlie wants ice cream. So I better hurry up and get home. Look at this guy, sat. Do you enjoy being sat next to the Christmas tree? Got a nice little spot for you. Mm. It's very cozy. It's very cozy. No, don't attack this. Let go of the camera. Let go of the camera. Let go. Socks, let go. Let go. You're on. Now you're you're literally stuck. Ow. <laughs> can you please let go? How can you be cleaning yourself and attacking the camera at the same time? Let go. Come and get the ice cream. I have two different types to choose from. Right, I'm gonna have my bath. But first of all, I need to show you this. So on the Sunday after my birthday, Chris surprised me with a, I think you would call it like a blush workshop. Now I love lush stuff. I've got lush everywhere. You probably see some stuff in the background and then over there on my shelf I have loads of lush stuff behind the camera, loads of lush stuff. And um, we made our own like fidget spinner to, it's like a bubble bar type of thing but you run it under the water and it goes round and round and the, and the bubbles come up. Um, there was also a pop up shop as well and I spent a fortune. So I've got that to show you and it's all like Christmas themed as well. So firstly look at this one. It's like a mince pie, green mince pie. Look at how cute that is, all sparkly as well. And the good news is it's all fine to go down the drain because she did explain, but I can't remember. It is all perfectly fine for the environment. Okay, this is the fidget spinner that we made and it's in this mold here. So I'll try to take it out and see if it all... Right, okay, so it's got this little piece. Got that there. And then we stuffed it in the mold. Oh my God, I don't know how to get that out. Okay, one side's out. <gasps> Look at that. It's got like glitter. So we put the glitter in first and then filled the mold. Oh Lord. It's really citrusy as well. Uh, please don't break, please don't break. Ah oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, the edges are a bit funny, but I can take those off. And then what you do is you push that through, excuse my nails, they're terrible, that through and then I've got an end to put on and then you run it under the water like that and then it makes bubbles. Okay, now my fingers are covered in glitter. So that's what we made. And then, oh, oh that, um, fidget spinner smells like um, citrus. It has like citrus in it. This is a present. And again, if you look at that, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's got like a ir iridescent. <laughs> Let's look at that. Look at that. So glittery. So that's a bubble bar. No. That's a bomb. I think that's a bomb. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, 
I didn't get this from the pop-up shop but they did have them but this was a birthday present from Tom and Chloe and it's a this is a bubble bar so you break it off and then crumble it in the water oh smells good there is loads more by the way oh this one is a Santa Claus although his face has got a bit red now and that is I think that's a bubble bar as well. Maybe I've got loads of bubble bars. That's the other fidget spinner, because Chris made one. He wasn't the only boy there. There was another guy as well. This is Merry Berry soap. And that smells really soapy. <laughs> but really, I don't know. I don't know what's in that actually. It doesn't know anything. It smells good. And then, lastly, behind the camera, this, which is never gonna pronounce that, but it is made up of all the ingredients, almost like for a Christmas pudding, and it smells like Christmas pudding as well. And that's a fresh cleanser, and it smells so good, and it's got almond, it's got almond and... Oh, it's got cocoa butter in it. So it makes your skin really like plump and hydrated. So that smells really good. So that's being used today. I think I will use this in the bath. Right, whilst my bath is running and it's very noisy in here because there's a pump behind me, I'm gonna show you this, more lush stuff. Honestly, I've got so much love stuff. This was a birthday present from my work and... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Look, there's like a duck bunting here. So, how do I undo it? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my God, it says. Can you see that? It says, happy bath day. <laughs> Right, I need to put that up. Okay, it was really hard to find somewhere to hang it, but look, <laughs> just above the bath. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, okay, the bath is full, so I'm hoping that it's not gonna uh, start steaming up in here now. But in this big box, we have this, which is the rainbow. Um, it's basically, it is like a bubble bar, but you can like break it off, use it as like Play-Doh, and you can use it in your hair, and so many different things that you can use it with. And then I have got this. Whoa, look at the size of that. I mean, it's so big, you can't even see my head. Not quite the size of my head. But look at it! How cool is that? That's a bubble bar. So you just break that off. And then the rest of them are bombs. So this one is a dragon's egg. That is so cool. And then we've got the experimenter. I've had this one before. This one is pretty cool. You get so many different colours in the bar. I'm gonna zoom in, does it? Oh, and then this one. This one, um, it's the over and over. I'm not sure why it's called the over and over. But look at that. Whoa. They're just so big. Look at that. So that lasts me about a month, doesn't it? Right, I'm gonna put some of those bubbles in. 